And Clemson will have the opening draw as Natalie Shirtlift controls. This Tigers team coming in nine and five on the season. They sport an offense that averages over 15 goals per game. And Chris, in this matchup against the Syracuse team that can light it up offensively, Clemson's gonna have to play stride for stride with them. Each good in the draw circle. You talk about Mashevsky, um, interesting story. ACL tear last year, sidelined after game seven. Today was always going to be about composure for this young Clemson program. A lot of young pieces asked to do a lot offensively against a Syracuse defense that has over 240 games of experience coming into today. And I know you have Down really low, they try to feed it in front. Hall and Shirtlift not on the same page, just swipes or corrals it. Schweitzer was the best goalkeeper in the country a year ago. Consensus All-American. As we see Baxter bring it into the offensive zone. The Syracuse team can work quickly, and they do. Rowley delivering the game's first goal, and Cuse have the lead here with 9.53 to go in the first quarter. We look at after the clear. Perfect time to draw. Dump, draw, dump, layup. And I like that they're pressing out a little bit. You've got to do something to make Syracuse a bit insecure. Rare failed clear there for Clemson, who came in the second best team in the country in that category. Syracuse working quickly. Tyrell takes the shot and stopped by Lamparter. Here's Shirtliff on the crease roll. Back out to Augustino. All the talk about Syracuse's offense is Clemson team over 15 goals per game on the season. They're looking for one here and they've got it. Claire Boxty delivering and Clemson knots it at one. They were up over Northwestern in the season opener. They've demolished North Carolina, handled Virginia. This is a Syracuse team playing the fifth toughest schedule in the country this season. And a battle for the draw control, and Mascheski comes up with it. And now this Clemson defense playing some inspired ball, nearly forced the turnover, and now they will. What a ride there from the Clemson Tigers. A young Tigers offense that at times you will see four and five freshmen out on the field. They're gonna have to grow up quickly in matchups just like this. Hall was demolished in front of the crease, no whistle. So Syracuse with it. So Emma Ward with an eight meter opportunity coming off of a one point performance against Pittsburgh. She goes low off of Lamparter. And the backup. So the Tigers off to a good start offensively. One goal to show for it against this talented Syracuse defense. And for the team that leads the ACC in cause turnovers, they have another. Here's Smith bringing it forward. Quick passing and a shooting space foul whistled. This is Olivia Adamson, 82 seconds left on the shot clock. Adamson chooses to go hard to Cage and skips it by Lamparter. 39th goal of the season and Syracuse regaining the lead here with 319 to go in the first. That would just go to show how accurate the shooting is. Yeah, we look at Lamparter, she's a lefty. Rules to Hoyle would say shoot to the offside head. Syracuse with an early advantage inside the draw circle like you expected, 3-1. Now looking for another goal, it's Adamson, bounces it off the turf, and she has her second goal. That's the first time that Lamparter saw it. So Adamson using the defender to shield has her second goal. It's great, and, and you brought up a really good point earlier that when there are rule changes, it is all with an eye towards more action. Well, with that more action is coming more athletic young ladies playing this sport instead of others. If you get the best athletes playing this sport, they're gonna do some creative stuff that hasn't been done in the past. Mischewski with another draw win now 4-1 in favor of Syracuse and this was the concern for Clemson. You didn't want to have to play defense for a majority of this game against this Q's offense. Here's Ward, good defense, it doesn't matter. Emma Ward blowing it past 
Emily Lamparter in the Qs rolling here in the first quarter. Syracuse goal, number 44, Emma Ward. Time of the goal. And we take a look at that also. Again, off hip to the stick side. To the Qs with it, 4-1. Syracuse, so three different goal scorers here in the early stages. Rowley, Adamson, and Ward have all gotten involved. Here's Baxter. Gets it past Lamparter. Things snowballing right now for Clemson. Most people come over the top. You're risking a dangerous shot at that time. Instead, keep it safe. It appears to be a three second call on the Tigers. So now Syracuse with an eight meter opportunity. Megan Tyrell lined up in front of Lamparter. Syracuse five goals already. Give him a sixth. Tyrell bounces it past Lamparter and everything going Syracuse's way here in this opening quarter. High of the crease. Instead, takes the extra step, knows she cuts down her angle, but gets Lamparter moving and finds that low and away area. This game really has not had much flow here in the early going of this contest. So that's the second uh, shooting space violation that Clemson had that I feel as though the quote-unquote shooter was not, in fact, a shooter. They were looking to draw and dump. Here, Schweitzer dumps it down low for Ward, and now Syracuse pulls it out. Tyrell fed in front. Rowley tickling the twine. Clemson trailing by six as Syracuse picks up right where they left off. Great cut. McCar McCardle got pushed out. No. But if there's one position on the field that a quick change can make a difference, it's between the pipes. Mascheski with the self-draw, and Syracuse with an 8-1 advantage inside the draw circle. Here's Ward on the doorstep, and the goals keep coming for the Orange. Take a look at that. It's interesting. I think uh, I think Lampard may have gotten a piece of that. It doesn't change the fact, though, that we're here right on the doorstep. Emma Ward's going to find a way to put it in put it in the back of the goal. Nah, he's a little bit of a homer, but you know, highest ranked defensive recruit in the country this year. Here's Tyrell looking for her second, and Lamparder battling comes up with the save. Nick Ward looking to get topside on Masarakia. Able to do so, now flipped off Tyrell down the alley. And a save, no, that one finding the back of the net as Tyrell picks up her second goal and Syracuse has a ninth here in the first half. And Tyrell pots that every single time. I don't care that she's a righty. So Tyrell putting in her second of the game. And to your point, I, I, I think you nailed it. It's not that they're being out athletic. It's just those experiences, just looking for that touch better shot. So here's Shirtlift goes hard to Cage. Can't get it past Schweitzer. And now there has been a foul called. So Clemson appears will keep possession. And they will have another eight meter opportunity upcoming, this time from the right side of the fan. Big save by Schweitzer. Tracked the shooter, never lost the ball. Shirt lift, hard to cage off the crossbar. Scramble for the ground ball and scooped up by Natalie Smith. So Clemson looking to capitalize on this eight meter opportunity. 0 of three on free positions today for a team that's converted almost 60% of them this year. See, I would have thought that would have been the foul on Boxty. Dumped in front, McElwee, past Schweitzer, and Clemson able to take advantage of the woman down. They pick up their second goal and cut into the Syracuse lead. It's just a matter of putting it on cage. He's in white. So Byrne will have a free position opportunity, two of two from the eight meter arc on the season. Blair Byrne gets it past Schweitzer and Clemson has scored the last two. There. So Blair Byrne's ninth of the season. So Clemson will have a free position opportunity and a chance to get back within five. 
Brazier hard to cage off the post. And scooped up on the ground ball. That was Van Diver. Ward, the passing of this Q's offensive unit is something to behold. Oh, it's tic-tac-toe when we talk about developing a rapport with your teammates. Oh, look at what that pass. Building. Ward binding Smith. And Natalie Smith puts Syracuse in double figures. I know a lot of purists would say, nah, you should be putting in your left hand, that's closer to the feeder. No. When you can shoot inside out, like these young ladies can, keep it in your strong hand and bury that thing. To start the third quarter, to try to build some momentum. Kayla Trainer has to be pleased, but certainly there's some things that this Q's team can clean up here in the second half. And Chris, you mentioned it at times, it felt like Syracuse looking a little bit stale offensively in that second quarter. And it, it, in, in their defense, it, when it feels like you might be running away with this thing, sometimes it's tough to stay as enthusiastic as you were before. So Clemson a woman up here for about 24 seconds. And work it back to Hillcoff at X. Tigers playing seven on six. Here's Brazier and Clemson able to take advantage. We talked about the decision process for Allison Kwolek. Right decision was clearly made. How technical the passing is. Look at the cuts. Look at how they're catching the defenders, ball watching. Really good defensive adjustment by Syracuse. Uh, McElway was looking for that cut that worked so well on the last possession. So it was suffocated. Here's Boxney at the eight meter fan, hard to cage. Schweitzer got her cross on it. Ball on the ground and Delaney Schweitzer able to pick it up. You know, no matter what, Emma Ward is doing Emma Ward thing. I think Maseraki is doing a really good job on her though. Understanding her tendencies. Schweitzer inside, got it past Lamparter. Becoming the seventh goal scorer of the game for Syracuse. Absolute emotional leader. She is their 15 for life representative. Just the, the, the consummate team player. Definitely deserves to be in the scorebook. Now Clemson hoping to turn it into offense. Just four goals so far today for a team that averages over 15 goals per contest on the season. Here's McLeod up top. Now Tilson dumped down low, fed in front and burn off the chest plate of Schweitzer. Another stellar save, the fourth of the day for Schweitzer. And he could flat out ball. I mean, that is a great addition to this women's lacrosse team at Syracuse. Here's Rowley, the hat trick. And Syracuse rebuilds the lead to eight. Great job on the weave. The second she sees that double, it's got to come from somewhere. And as a cutter, when you see your defender leave, you have got to follow that and find some green. Great job. I feel like Shirtliff had some success early on in the game, first quarter, when she was operating from her non-traditional side. She prefers her right. I liked her feeding backside. She was drawing some uh, shooting space fouls for her teammates. Scored at the 11.47 mark here in the third quarter. Schweitzer going to go hard to cage. Lamparder got her foot on it and able to come up with a big save. Yeah, a lot of similar upbringings. Lacrosse, historically a hotbed sport in the Northeast. A lot of these ladies have played against each other as we see a forced turnover there. Guess who? It was good Al. Now she'll bring it across midfield. So Syracuse continuing to keep the pedal to the metal. Here's that textbook passing. And able to create a shooting space, so a free position upcoming. When in reality, Syracuse would probably be happier that whistle swallowed and the person finishing the break down on the pipe. So it'll be Adamson here, 8 of 13, and this one turned away by Lamparter, who's had a nice second half. No free position upcoming here for Paul Masano. Now a stoppage in play. Looks like they're trying to get the clock corrected. At about 1.1 seconds, here's Paul Masano. Dumps it off, burn! Off of Schweitzer. Clemson will recover, but just one second remaining here in the third quarter. And the third quarter will come to an end. Syracuse will shepherd a big lead into the fourth here in Clemson, South Carolina. First ever trip to the upstate of South Carolina going well for Syracuse. They lead by eight 
as we head to the fourth quarter here in Clemson, South Carolina. A former top 25 recruit. Oh, whose game I absolutely love. You talk about great recruits right there. Stanton striking here in the fourth quarter and the freshman who's been red hot here over her last five games. There's no reason to get sexy. Hammer your cradle, go to the rack, and bury. And you look at her going through the trees. A lot of people would panic, pull the trigger early. Maybe not change levels the way that she should. Ends up. The question though looming, Chris, do you think anyone can take down Northwestern? Izzy Skane, Aaron Koikendall, as we see a goal inside. That looked like it was Terrell. Let's not worry about crea creating a bigger angle. Um, Qualsey does a good job of staying big to her stick side. Doesn't change the fact though that if you get that goalie moving, beat your defender, something's going to open up. To rally six goals in her last two games. A chance for lucky number seven. Rowley gets it past Kowalski. And the lead now nine. Turkey certainly a lot more to play for this year. They will lock up a share of the ACC regular season title with a win today. But they've got thoughts on making it to Memorial Day weekend as we see Adamson strike for her third goal of the game. Seven different goal scorers today for Syracuse. Multiple players with hat tricks. This offense is as deep as it gets. And a good play on the circle there by Goodell. She'll bring it into the offensive. The Clemson with possession and held to just five goals today. They came in averaging over 15 goals per game. They're gonna have a look here, Paul Masano. And the senior on senior day delivering as Clemson scores their sixth. We had a special team then, uh, Roy Colsey, Rick Beardsley, just these guys, these iconic names that got better as the season went along. Kowalski turned that one away. She had some success earlier coming underneath that defenseman to her right. Let's see if she does that again. Stanton going hard to cage. That one fired over top. Boxy with the backup. Physical play. I like the ref swallowing the whistle there, though. Boxy tried to feed it back inside. Good catch from Blair. Bird fires. And Schweitzer putting the exclamation point on an excellent day. And Syracuse Great. will bring it across midfield and begin to celebrate the Qs locking up. A share of the ACC regular season championship for the second year in a row. Syracuse, winners here today in Clemson. And they will fight for an outright ACC championship pending the result of Boston College in Virginia later on today next week against Boston College.